Hey everybody, it's Karen from Art of Fall Acrylics. Welcome to my favorite art channel here in Studio 205. It's an exciting day here for me. I'm going to attempt my very first Ninja Swipe made famous and popular by the one and only Sarah Mack. And a huge shout out to Brian from Spontaneous Creations by Brian for sending me a Ninja Stick to try it out. So, um, going to give it a go man <laughs> let me get you down just wiping off um, my ninja stick that's already been broken in <laughs> and uh, thanks to uh, Brian from um, what's his channel spontaneous creations by Brian he made these I'll put the link to his Etsy shop in my uh, description section if you want one and I got my white base down I just used some like Artist Love Flow, soft body stuff with uh, some American Flow Troll. And I came up with the video title right away because I was in my paint drawers and I saw all my Arteza pearl paints. And I'm like, oh, I'm using pearl paints. I'm going to clutch my pearls. <laughs> that just cracked me up. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll just go. And I'll just yell out the colors as I go along in the interest of time. So the first pearl color we have is olive green from Arteza. And I guess I'll just pour a little puddle. Something like that. And then let's throw in some Amsterdam aqua green. And then on top of that, we have a Windsor Newton um, green. This is chromium oxide. What is it? It's from their expert series. Chromium oxide green. I love it. It's one of my favorite shades of green. It's just like a, a shade darker from a Kelly green. Super pretty. Just a little bit of that. And then we could go back to our pearls. Arteza banana yellow. <laughs> and then is that all my greens? I feel like I'm missing a green. Yes, one more. This is pearl lime green, Arteza. And then and then for the flowers, I just did some pinks and purples. So I have a deep magenta from Artist Loft. And then let's do, what is this color? It's the one in the packet, the packet color. It's like pearl pink, pearl light pink. That's pearl light pink. We'll go with that. It's pearly. It's pretty, pearly. There's that. And then we're going to end it with some Amsterdam ultramarine violet light bunch of that and i'm just doing one puddle at a time because i'm chicken and let's see i've got my white I've got extra white to like put at the bottom because i'm a kind of a maniac with the ninja stick as I saw myself do um, that you guys won't and I don't know if this is a left-handed one or a right-handed one I don't know if it matters <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna go I'm gonna hold on to my spinner um, screw it let's just go I got the little wiggly things. I don't know what those are called, but I got them. The unicorn horns? Is that what they're called? The little twisty thingies? But boy, did I just totally wreck into the top of that right through the middle, right? Yeah, that's not good. The one side of it's pretty. Let's, let's try it again. Oh, that's a little better. Pop the bubble. And then one more time. Put 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know. I guess that's good. It's gonna get doctored up. I'm gonna I'm gonna be doodling for sure. So there's one. We'll leave it be for now. Um I think I'll just do three. So let's go again. Um with the olive green. I might change up the order. Let's do olive green. The pearl lime, pearl olive, pearl lime, and then some violet, and then, then some pink. Yeah, let's mix it all up. Some pink. Whoa. I'm getting like little baby cells in there from the Floetrol and my paints are pretty thick so I don't know what that's about. Um, the Pearl Pink and then let's do the Aqua Green. And let's put the Chromium Oxide Green on top. Yeah, let's do it like that. Try for a little bit of this down here. Something like that. And I'm going to try it with a paddle this time. Like a one of these uh, piggy paddles from the Fluid Arco. And kind of, just kind of, whoa. That was, that was a good one though for me. Now you got to remember. This is my first time on camera and only my second time ever doing this. So, uh, that's a pretty good one. It was, I got to tell you guys a little story real quick. So, I did try this yesterday and I was talking to uh, Sarah Mack on the phone. Hold on, let me do one more. I don't want to wreck into that now. Maybe I want to go over that way. I don't know. Oh, there. There's like a little baby one. Um, and I told her, I'm going over to do my ninja swipe. And I'm going to do it with um, the bloom recipe. Because <laughs> I had... Um, let me switch back to this guy. I had a ton of leftover colors. And I was like, oh, I can just throw down house paint. And I have all those colors. And I can just go and I, I came to my student and she didn't say anything <laughs> but I could tell like I know Sarah fairly well I could tell with the look on her face she was like uh-huh and but she's too kind to say anything like I that's not gonna work the paints are too thick or whatever she just let me go and then and then earlier today I was like you know the paints are too thick <laughs> Um, I feel like this one needs one more, like a baby one, or do I leave it? Maybe I use something even smaller. I even got out this thingy, which I think would be, it might be kind of handy for like this, because this looks messy here. Oh, I might have made that worse. Oops. Uh... Hmm, not, well, I'm glad I did it on the end, not in the middle. All right. Let's just go. That was, a, that was a decent one, I guess. All right, one more. Uh, let's do... I don't like... I feel like putting, like, a mini puddle right here. Because there's like all that white.
I'll take those that little lines better than nothing. Oh, that'll bug me. Oh, that might get tilted off because I am going to tilt. All right, third one, or maybe. something there and then the last one let's start with let's start with the deep magenta and then for the embellishment part I'm just going to put on some music or do a voiceover in the interest of time Ooh, I do like the pearl lime green. That's super pretty. Mm, kind of like banana yellow, too. Really soft, pretty yellow. And then maybe some soft pink on top of the soft yellow. And I got like little hints of purple, but not too much. So let's try to get some purple. Last one. There we go. Oh, let me put down the white. That really does seem to help to like put some white at the bottom before you dig into it. That's Sarah. She's so clever. All right. Oh, maybe I'd do better with sound effects. Oh, I got another unicorn thingy. That that's good for me. I I'm I'm pretty happy with this. <laughs> Cuz you know, it's my first one. Um, I'm going to throw on some gloves and tilt this, but let me tilt. Oh, it's stuck to my spinner. Tilt toward me a second. Take off that extra paint. Let those tips run down. There's one in particular. I want to touch the bottom right there. Let that run down. I do like um, all the negative space though. That that part I really do like. Music time, enjoy the music. While I embellish.
All right, here's a close up of my very first ninja swipe. I I like 90% of it, which which for the first attempt I think is pretty great, right? I was fussing with this part I didn't like at all. I still don't, but I'm going to leave it. Um when this dries, I am definitely going to do some dot work. Like I had started it over here, but it was sinking too much and I had got the idea because this just naturally sewed up in here um, and in here, some density cells, and then some up in here, uh, like these guys, they're super cute. And I like most of my um, little embellishments, like the leaves there and whatever crazy thing that is. <laughs> my favorite embellishments there are the little subtle ones like the little line work in between the stems and this thing, I like that too. So not too, too messy at the top. I'm kind of bummed because my, <clears throat> my unicorn horn here that was like pink and green, the pink kind of sunk. So I lost a little bit of it, but that's okay. Let me could come out, just hold it at an angle so there's not such of a glare, but Zoom in. That's what it looks like. You guys let me know what you think. Um, yeah, and that's it for me. Let me flip and say goodbye. All right, guys, that's it for me. I'm Tucker. Please keep the train rolling and hop on over to the next video. If you want your own ninja stick, check out Spontaneous Creations by Brian. He has his own Etsy shop. The link is in the description section. And while you're browsing around, Click on that link to the fluidartboutique.com. I'm super proud of the website because I made that all by myself. <laughs> anyway, we got our big event coming up next June in Dublin, Ireland. The response has been amazing. We're kind of blown away by that. So we hope to see you there. And until then, you know the drill. Please like, share, and subscribe. Welcome to newbies. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.